Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, and I'm your host, Mitchell Renz. The Raiders' biggest need in 2019 on the offensive side of the football, let's be real, it's wide receiver. So I'm going to break down 10 players that the Raiders can target in free agency or that they could trade for in 2019. Now, before I get into my 10 players, let's take a little quick sneak peek here at the Raiders' depth chart in 2019 because it's a little bit thin. Now, I like Jordy Nelson, and I, I like Marcel Aitman, and he's been announced as the X receiver, but y'all know how I feel about Seth Roberts, and besides that, it's thin. And if there's uh, anything I've learned, sometimes a little bit thin isn't always the best. So I got 10 wide receivers that the Raiders can target in 2019 in free agency or that they can just flat out trade for. My number 10 player here is Adam Humphreys, and Humphreys is a restricted free agent from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and from a talent standpoint, I really like what Humphreys brings to the table, and at age 25, he really emerged, I think, as one of the better slot receivers in the NFL. The main issue here, why he's number 10 for me, is because Bruce Arians has come out and said that he wants to bring back Adam Humphreys. With Humphreys being a restricted free agent, that kind of handcuffs the Raiders a little bit, and if the P Tampa Bay Buccaneers do go out and try to re-sign him, that's a second round tender. I'm telling you right now, I do not want the Raiders to give up a second round pick for Adam Humphreys. I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Bet DSI, for going up chat sports with the best promo code on the internet. It's Raiders120, and you better use it for a 120% deposit bonus. You put down $100, you're going to get $120 for free. Be a big baller. Put down $500, get $600 for free. Shout out to Bet DSI if we're going to up with the best promo code on the internet. Heading on now to number nine on my list, it's John Brown. And young guy, another younger player at age 28, a great field stretcher, which we know is a huge need for the Raiders in 2019. Mike Mayock has come out and said that, hey, I want to be able to stretch the field. I want Derek to be able to stretch the field. You insert John Brown into this offense, a receiver who averaged 17 yards per catch, I really like it. The big issue with John Brown his entire career has been the sickle cell trait, which does scare me a little bit. Now, I don't want to overblow it, but we know for a fact we're going to have at least one game in Denver. Are we going to even be able to have John Brown in that game against a big rival? I'm not quite sure. If John Brown could stay healthy, he's going to move up my board, but it's a little bit of a seesaw. Next wide receiver also from the Ravens, but also a former Oakland Raider. Now, he led the Raiders in receptions and touchdowns in 2017, which I think he was the go-to guy for Derek Carr. And we know that the Raiders need wide receiver help. But the other issue is, uh, do we forget the amount of drops that Michael Crabtree has had and the drop issues that he's just had is kind of his entire career now? Sure, in 2017, eight touchdowns. That's great. The two years before that, 89 catches, 85 catches. And in 2018, he was okay, I'll say, with Joe Flacco. And then the Ravens just went to a super run-heavy style offense with Lamar Jackson. I think Michael Crabtree could at least be kind of a safety blanket and a receiver for Derek Carr that he's familiar with. Let's be real. 2019 is Derek Carr's prove-it year. You bring back Michael Crabtree as, let's say, a 1B type receiver. Personally, for me, I like it. So Crabtree or John Brown, who do you want? Better fit for the Raiders right now in this offense. John Brown, type B or type C for Michael Crabtree. If you're on the who I'll pick, and hit me up on IG or Twitter, at MitchellRenz365. Number seven player here, this is one that the Raiders are going to have to trade for, and it's Nelson Aguilar. His $9.387 million is non-guaranteed. And with that being said, the Eagles are in a serious debt in terms of cap space, and I don't know if they're going to bring back Nelson Aguilar. The other intriguing idea, I think, for, the, for Aguilar, let's not forget that he played at USC. Maybe he wants to come back to the West Coast. That's an interesting scenario, I think, there. And Aguilar kind of has struggled in his young career, but has really turned it on of late. Now, 2018, he only had four touchdowns, but he still had over 700 receiving yards. But in 2017, that was his breakout year, eight touchdowns and a big year. And I think he also really helped Carson Wentz come into his own. But if the Raiders are going to go out and get Nelson Aguilar, what's a trade projection going to look like? So guess what? I'm going to hook you up with one. I threw one together. And I think the Raiders are, could give the Eagles a fourth-round pick, which is our 106th pick overall. And in return, the Raiders receive Nelson Aguilar. And I want you guys who are watching, I want you to comment below, do you like it? Why for yes and for no. 
Heading on now to another player that the Raiders would have to trade for. It's John Ross, so don't blink or else you're going to miss this one. I think that John Ross would be a really interesting addition for the Raiders because you want speed, Mayak? <laughs> the guy who ran a 4.22, and you can't see me, but I'm doing it in quotes, at the NFL Combine. And if the Bengals really want to trade him, maybe they could go out and get him. And again, 21 catches, not that great. And 10 yards per reception, not that great. But seven touchdowns. He scored a touchdown on one of every three catches last year. And when he was playing at Washington, he was also able to find the end zone. In his final year at Washington, 17 touchdowns. At the end of the day, John Ross, I don't know if he's ever going to be like a Tyreek Hill. But there's certain things that you just can't teach. And one of those is speed. John Ross, worst case scenario, could be maybe a special teams player. A good receiver for the former first overall or for, former first round pick. John Ross is interesting, and if we could get him for a fourth round pick right now, who says no? I mean, I don't know how many wide receivers in this draft class could be that valuable, John Ross, and at that type of pick. Just saying, Raider Nation, I want to know from everybody watching. So I gave you two trade scenarios, both fourth round picks in 2019, which is the 106th overall. Which one would you want more? Okay, who's the better fit for the Raiders? John Ross, type R, or Nelson Aguilar, type A, I want to know in the comment section below. If you want to know who I'm picking, hit me up on IG or Twitter at MitchellRens365. If you're just joining us, let's do a quick little recap of the five players that I want the Raiders to target in 2019 offseason. I got Adam Humphreys, Brown, Crabtree. They're free agents. Now, if the Raiders want to go out and get Nelson Aguilar or John Ross, they're going to have to trade for him. Let's go get now to my top five. Tyrell Williams in I think I'm a little bit higher than most on Tyrell Williams because I saw what Williams did in 2017 when he actually got a chance, I think, to show his talent. However, in 2018, he was okay. 65 targets, 41 catches, 5 touchdowns. But again, when you have an offense that's led by Melvin Gordon and Antonio Gates comes in there here and there, Keenan Allen, I don't necessarily know if he was given the chance. Tyrell Williams comes over to the Oakland Raiders. He inserts himself as a 1B receiver, who's also 6'4". He's 205 pounds, and he can stretch the field. And he's young. And the fact that he really hasn't, I'll say, balled out besides that one year in 2017 when he had over 1,000 receiving yards, I think the Raiders would be able to get him for cheap. And, like, come on. Tyrell, I guarantee if the Chargers don't want him, he's gonna absolutely going to want to stick it to his former team. Now... I don't know if you guys saw this, and if you didn't, I know you probably don't subscribe then, so subscribe, youtube.com slash Raiders Report. I want to know what you guys thought of my silver hair, and I dyed my hair silver because we hit 10,000 subscribers, and I want to shout out to everybody who's a loyal subscriber, and if you're not, subscribe below, youtube.com slash Raiders Report, because if I dyed my hair for 10K, <laughs> imagine what I'll do for 20K. So, I asked you guys, and this is what I came out with, Mike Martinez, I was the 10,000 subscriber. Let's go to the game. Well, Mike, if you can prove it, I'll believe it. But I might have my uh, production team here do a little bit of digging or I'm going to. And if you are the 10,000 subscriber, hit me up on IG or Twitter at Mitchell Rennes 365 and I'll get you set up with something. Callie, what's going on, my man? Laugh my ass off. You look funny as hell, bro. I think I can hear that more uh, times than not. So, Callie, I appreciate you subscribing, homeboy. No Ortiz. Wow. Mitch, your hair. Laughing faces. No, I appreciate the comment. What I don't appreciate is that you don't have a picture, so let's get yourself a picture. So when I look up No Ortiz, if this is you, like, this is what I picture, like, my dad accidentally sending me a screenshot of himself, like, oh, shit, Mitch, how does my iPhone work? That's what I picture. No Ortiz, shout out to you, shout out to Raider Nation. Let's get back in and out of some targets. And uh, next guy coming up is Robbie Anderson. He's another restricted free agent. So the Jets, they could still technically bring him back, but I don't really consider the Jets a very smart organization and he's very talented and at 6'3 190 pounds another great field stretcher that the Raiders could insert he just has some off the field issues but at the end of the day I think if John Gruden can maybe put Robbie Anderson underneath his wing a little bit maybe Robbie just needs to get out of New York I don't know if Vegas will be better but 50 catches 15 yards per catch for Robbie Anderson last year he's a talented player he really, truly is. And at the end of the day, Mayock, you want to add speed? You want to add field stretchers? You want to add young talent? Robbie Anderson is all those things. But I know I'm going to hear some people saying, well, we couldn't do it with Martavis. What makes you think that we're going to be able to do it with Robbie Anderson? Hey, 
Maybe I'm just drunk in love with Robbie Anderson. I'm definitely drunk in love with our sponsor, Tavor. And if you guys like craft beer, there's only one place to get it. It's at Tavor.com. T-A-V-O-U-R.com. Rare craft beers that you can't find in stores. In fact, you can only find them at Tavor. Use our promo code CHATSPORTS for $10 off your very first purchase. And then send me a picture of the beer you guys are drinking because I uh, absolutely love their IPAs. Number three player here is Golden Tate. And... He's going to be a free agent at age 30, but by the time the season starts, he's going to be 31. And he came out and said yesterday that he wants to be a Patriot, and I get it. If you want to win a Super Bowl, yeah, you should probably go to the Patriots, and I know what you all are thinking. Tuck rule, tuck that. Now, Tate is great after the catch. He really is. And last year, I think he would have had a better year if he wouldn't have gone to the Eagles because before, in 2016 to 2017, he had over 90 catches. He had over 1,000 yards with the Lions. Maybe Matthew Stafford is better than uh, Carson Wentz. Eh, I'm just kidding. But, again, I think Golden Tate would fit into this offense pretty well. And some of y'all get mad at Derek Carr for being a dink and dunk quarterback. And he kind of was last year. But when you get hit 52 times or sacked 52 times, you got to get the ball out quick. You insert Golden Tate, a solid yards after the catch receiver, who's a veteran. I personally like this one a lot. But here are my top wide receiver targets. Uh, or Golden Tate is actually my top free agent wide receiver target according to uh, all my videos that I've put out in the past. All right, let's get in now to a player that the Raiders are going to have to trade for A.J. Green. Now, there's reports that A.J. Green could be a potential trade candidate for the Cincinnati Bengals simply because he's their most valuable player. And if the Bengals really want to tank or if the Bengals really want to go in rebuild mode under a new head coach, maybe they should sell their most valuable asset in A.J. Green. And the other thing with Green, he's dealt with some injuries, and that's why his totals are a little bit under here. Six touchdowns, 694 receiving yards last year. But from an entire career standpoint, he's averaged 75 receptions, a thousand over 1,000 yards, and eight touchdowns every season. A.J. Green is one of the most humble, one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. And I would absolutely love for A.J. Green to come over into the silver and black. He would be an absolute slam dunk of a fit in our offense. And if you're telling me right now I can get A.J. Green for a second round pick, because according to some reports, that's what the Bengals would look for. The 35th overall pick for A.J. Green, I'd sign up for that every single day of the week. Every single day of the week, he's our new number one wide receiver. Sure, he's dealt with some injury issues, but hey, it's football. I'm not going to be afraid of issues or injuries. So A.J. Green and John Ross, both Bengals, what are the chances that both of them could come to the Raiders? So I kind of threw another little trade projection here. We'd send our fourth and our second round pick for A.J. Green and John Ross. And before you guys freak out on me a little bit, I like this idea because then we can really, really concentrate on getting defenders in the draft. And also the Bengals, if they're maybe trying to sell those players for cheap, why not go out and do it? So then you take care of all your receiver help in free agency, and you can 100% concentrate on defenders in the NFL draft because the draft is absolutely stacked with defensive talent. My number one player here at the Raiders could target in 2019, no surprise, Mr. Big Chest. And, like, he wants to potentially play for a contender, and the Raiders apparently are ahead contender for AB, but the Steelers, there's reports that they don't want to trade him to an AFC team and I get it but I also don't think the Steelers this is gonna hurt are really afraid of the Raiders at that current moment I mean they were four and twelve but if you can insert Antonio Brown who had a career high 15 touchdowns last year into this offense I think it's a great fit and at the end of the day he's a diva but a lot of wide receivers in the NFL are divas and I think it, the fact that he could potentially be only a second round pick, that would be a super great steal for the Raiders. And I know I've kind of said that I don't know if I want AB, but it's because I thought the Raiders would have to give up a first round pick. He's just absolutely trashing his trade value, which is why I literally think the Raiders could offer a second round pick for Antonio Brown and they could get him. Worst case, you offer a first round pick 27th overall. And sure, he's 31 years old. He's an older receiver. But Antonio Brown is one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. And before all this drama, I guarantee you he would have went for a first round and then some. A.J. Green, Antonio Brown. Basically polar opposite people. Basically polar opposite receivers. But both solid one wide receivers. Who would be the better fit on the Raiders 
And I'm also kind of thinking, who'd be a better fit with John Gruden? A.J. Green or Antonio Brown? I want you to type A.J. for Green or A.B. for Antonio Brown. Now let's do another quick little recap here of my top wide receiver targets. I got Adam Humphreys there, John Brown, Michael Crabtree, Nelson Aguilar, John Ross. The Raiders have to trade for those two players. Heading on now to my top five. Tyrell Williams, a great young free agent. Robbie Anderson, a restricted free agent. Golden Tate, my top free agent wide receiver. And then A.J. Green, Antonio Brown, two players that I would absolutely love the Raiders to trade for. If you don't already follow me on Instagram and Twitter, get at it, at MitchellRens365. And make sure you guys subscribe, youtube.com slash Raiders Report. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right now. Here, I'm giving you Chucky Heads, news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors, and look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.